sensory perception. This function in a sensory nerve can cause sensory alteration. Sensory deficit is defined as when a client has a deficit in an expected function of one or more of the five senses. Sensory deprivation is defined as a reduction in or an absence of stimuli to one or more of the five senses. Sensory overload, this is receiving stimuli at a rate and intensity that is beyond the brain's capability to process the stimuli in a meaningful way. Vision has various conditions that interfere with sensory perception. Terms um, myopia, hyperopia, astigmatism, presby presbyopia. These are all various conditions that can interfere with one's vision. Myopia is known as nearsightedness, and it is the inability to see objects far away clearly. Hyperopia is the inability to see nearby objects clearly, or farsightedness. Astigmatism is a defect within the eye that makes objects near and far look blurry or distorted. Presbyopia is age-related farsightedness. This is a gradual decrease in the ability to see objects clearly nearby. This often starts during middle adulthood. Other conditions would include cataracts, diabetic retinopathy, glaucoma, or muscular, macular degeneration. For hearing, hearing begins when a noise or sound waves enter the auditory canal and hit the eardrum, and this causes the eardrum to vibrate. There are three types of hearing loss, sensory, neural, conductive, and mixed loss. Sensory neural hearing loss is the most prevalent. This will occur from problems either in the inner ear or on the vestibular cochlear nerve or cranial nerve number eight. Pressed by cuspus, is age-related hearing loss. This occurs gradually and is routinely bilateral. For conductive hearing loss, the sounds are not able to travel from the outer ear to the eardrum and the middle, middle ear. Various causes for this may include trauma, inflammation, cerumen or wax impaction, a perforated eardrum, or a block by a foreign body. Speech alterations or aphasia is another condition that interferes with sensory perception. Communication involves the cerebration or thinking, cognition, hearing, speech production, and motor coordination. The process of speech is controlled by cranial nerves 5, 10, 11, and 12. There are various types of aphasia. Expressive aphasia is known as non-fluent aphasia or Broca's aphasia. This is due to, due to damage in the frontal lobe of the brain. Individuals with expressive aphasia may understand the speech, but not be able to speak the words they want to say. Comprehensive aphasia or fluent aphasia, also no known as Wernicke's aphasia, this is due to damage to the temporal lobe of the brain. An individual with comprehensive aphasia speaks in long sentences that have no meaning and often will include unnecessary and made-up words. 
Comprehensive aphasia can also occur in an individual to make them not understand what is being said and they are able, unable to comprehend that others can't understand what they are saying. Global aphasia can be due to significant damage to various language areas of the brain. Individuals with this type of aphasia have poor comprehension of language and may be unable to form words or sentences. Touch is considered a sensation on the skin that results from contact. There are receptors and nerve pathways located throughout the skin for touch, temperature, pain, and movement. The perception of touch occurs when nerve receptors found in the epidermis and the dermis receive some external stimuli or a signal, and this is sent to the brain. When the stimuli reaches the thalamus, the information is then processed and it is sent back to the area in the form of hot or cold, pain or pressure. Tactile hypersensitivity has peripheral or central nervous system overly it's sensitive to sensory input, specifically tactile stimuli. An individual may not feel extremes in temperature or they may have a limited ability to feel pain from bone fractures or a laceration. Peripheral neuropathy often occurs following damage or malfunction of a peripheral nerve. Idiopathic neuropathy is due to nerve damage that has no underlying cause. Diabetic neuropathy is due to diabetes mellitus. This process occurs over time from high blood glucose levels and high levels of triglycerides in the blood. Olfactory and taste protect individuals from injury, allowing them to smell, smoke, gas, or fire, or taste foods or chemicals that should not be ingested. There are two pathways smells can reach the olfactory neurons, directly through the nares via an opening between the roof of the throat and the nose, or through the mouth. Taste disorders are often due to injury or illness. Smell disorders are often due to taste disorders. There are other causes, infections in the sinus or upper respiratory tract, head injuries, dental caries, some medications. Olfactory disorders includes anosomnia, hyposomnia, parasomnia, phantosomnia. Anosomnia is a lack of ability to smell anything. Hyposmia is a reduction in the ability to perceive odors. Parasmia is an alteration in odor perception. Phantosmia is a disorder where a non-existent smell is perceived. A phantom taste perception is a persistent foul taste when the mouth is empty. It is the most common taste disorder. Hypogousia is a de decreased ability to taste. Adusia is the inability to taste anything. Dysgousia is a persistent, salty, rancid, or metallic taste.
there are various factors that affect sensory perception. As a nurse, we must consider the various um, differences in age and development. There are various changes that occur as the body ages. These will include the sight, hearing, taste, smell, and feel. With age, senses become less sharp and they require higher levels of sensory input to trigger the same response to environmental stimuli. Hearing and vision are the senses that are most often affected by age. The eyes have an expected change with age. The cornea will become less sensitive, the pupils are smaller and less reactive to light, and there is a decrease in the visual acuity. For taste, with age can become a difficult time detecting sour, salty, and bitter tastes, but yet they re individuals retain the ability to taste sweetness. Smell diminishes, makes it difficult to detect and identify odors. For medications, many medications can be ototoxic, cause taste alterations, or taste perception. There are greater than 600 categories of medications that can cause ototoxicity. Aminoglycosides or macrolids, aspirin, NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, cardiac medications, loop diuretics, chemotherapy agents. Ototoxic effects can occur suddenly or slowly, be mild to severe, or be temporary or permanent. There are cognitive disorientation that results in the changes in perception. These would be dementia or delirium. Dementia is a term describing problems with reasoning, planning, judgment, memory, and thought processes due to brain damage from impaired blood flow to the brain. Dementia occurs when the neurons become damaged, they lose their connection with the brain cells and die. Delirium is a disturbance in mental ability, causing confused thinking and reduced awareness of the environment. Delirium is a syndrome that is due to multiple causes and routinely reversible. It usually begins suddenly over a few hours or days with manifestations varying throughout the day, including um, fluctuating consciousness, difficulty maintaining attention, disorientation, difficulty with speech, hallucinations, agitation, and unpredictable mood swings.